Welcome to Central African Republic. A country of about five and a half million people or about the same size as Melbourne. Geographically, about the same size as Ukraine. And what to say about Central African Republic? Well, it's currently the 10th poorest country in the world by GDP, but at the bottom on GDP per capita in purchasing power parity terms. It's the fourth lowest on the Human Development Index and the absolute lowest on the Human Development Index in a quality ranking. It's had people here since the Neolithic days. It's got some old stone monuments, a bit like Stonehenge, that date back to 8,000 years BC. So there's a lot of prehistoric history here. It was variously colonized by the Europeans during the rush to Africa, particularly by the French. So the French had forced labor while they were colonizing the place. They would kidnap your family and whack them in jail if you didn't work for free for them. They weren't very good people, the French. So while colonialism is bad, the British colonialism is certainly the least bad of a very bad lot. I think that's what John Howard very clumsily was trying to say when he said Australia was lucky to be colonised by the British instead of the other Europeans. He wasn't saying colonialism was good, but boy, I'm very glad the French didn't come to Australia and I'm very glad King Leopold didn't come to Australia. You'd think, wouldn't you? that when the colonialism ended, things would get better. But no, just because your own ethnic group rules yourself doesn't necessarily create an equal life. It can often just create another elite, as it has in many African countries. And here is a very, very good example. There are two worlds. There's the world of people with the money and the people without, and it's not fair. There has essentially been no widespread economic development and the place has been in constant civil wars since independence. And in fact, there's a pretty brutal civil war going on at the moment. And if you can make sense of this map, then I congratulate you. It's why the government has hired the Russian backed Wagner mercenaries to turn stability to the country. But if you think the Wagner group returns stability to a country, I've got a bridge to sell you. So someone tells me there are some Russians here called Wagner or Wagner or something. I can't see any. Given the realities on the ground, there's very little we can do inside and definitely not outside of Bungie. So let's have a look inside the National Museum. So the premier Fouage Regarde Corp shows comme le Didgeridoo en Afrique, c'est juste comme Australie, hein? So if you're wondering why there's a lot of video of me in this film and not much b-roll, not much scenery, it's because the couple of times I've tried to pull the camera out, the response has been no, 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 no. One of the reasons I wanted to visit the Central African Republic is because of these guys, the UN. Let me put it in the words of an 11 year old girl who in Bangui, Central African Republic, that is here, said a few years ago of UN staff, I didn't have breasts yet, but he still raped me. The other thing about Bangui is it's home to the Bangui magnetic aberration. That is a distortion in the Earth's magnetic field. Exactly what that distortion means and exactly what it is, I don't know, but it's a large oval shape aberration in the Earth's magnetic field. Go talk to the scientists, they might be able to tell you. That there is the Democratic Republic of Congo, and this here is Central African Republic. And the border runs between that rock there and that rock there. So that there, that little channel, that's the border between DRC and Central African Republic. And when you look at the rankings, you know, the worst country in the world on the Human Development Index equality ranking and the worst per capita GDP in the world. Can't beat stats like that. 